Hello, everyone, and welcome back to today's show, Detroit. I am Zach Damon, here with the travel extraordinaire, the global uh, man of mystery in travel, Mr. Ed Sasanto of Dream Vacations. Super exciting. Uh, so, Ed, you touched on a great point, I thought. Uh, Right before the break, you gave a little bit of advice of different things that you do in terms of having a, a translator on your phone to be able to communicate uh, with local shopkeepers to really get, um, you know, the authentic experience. What other advice do you have, even for seasoned travelers that they might not know? Um, well, I, I think the thing I the thing I would tell people is don't go, go don't go to a country. Um, with preconceived notions of what that country is like, because you're probably wrong. Um, go in with an open mind that you want to experience everything. When you go to when you go to Italy, for example, don't just assume that they have pizza um, because huh. they actually don't, or at least not pizza like you're like you're used to. Sure. Um, um, I, I tend to relate everything to food anyhow. So. Um, don't go thinking, well, I have to go to, I have to go to the Coliseum or I have to go to the Fountain of Trevi. No, you don't. I mean, that's where everybody goes. Go to, go to the little streets in, in Rome, go to the streets where people live um, and talk to the people, talk, talk to the local residents because they'll talk to you, uh, especially now. I mean, people, people in foreign countries are, are just so happy to see people from other countries again um, mm. because most countries in, in Europe and in, in other areas, tourism is how they make their living. So they're happy to see us back. They're happy absolutely. to see us come back. And that's, and that's how I think you should, you should approach it. Oh, absolutely. And then for those travelers with disabilities out there, that want to be able to see the world, that want to travel, but have sort of that reservation about, oh, you know, I may not be able to find those resources out there, or, oh, it may be so difficult for me to get around uh, if I'm visiting Rome or the Colosseum or different things. What, what advice do you have for them? Um, well, all this may seem like a shameless plug, but um, use a travel advisor. It doesn't have to be me. Um, but use someone who has the expertise and the knowledge or, or can find out um, what exceptions might need to be made and can make those for you so you don't have to worry about it. Um, there's nothing you can't do. Uh, there may have to be special considerations made, but there's nothing that you should not be able to do. Never think that you Never think that you can't do what somebody else can do because you can. As long as you want to do it, you can do it. Absolutely. You know, Walt this said, if you dream it, you can do it. And uh, I definitely believe that as well. Uh, you know, Ed, a he couple of final questions. No, absolutely. Absolutely. A uh, couple final questions for you. Um, so, you know, you talk a lot about, you know, inclusivity. You talk about how important it is to really immerse yourself in the cultures of where you're traveling, no preconceived notions, uh, things like that, you know, but I'm, I'm curious too. I mean, is there anything, uh, you know, where do you see travel going uh, from here as we are in the middle, you know, of this pandemic, we're trying to, to push out of this, you know, where do you see the industry going? Well, obviously, you know, it, it, um, it it's hard to predict, right now more than a couple months in advance uh, because every time we try to predict something um, it, it usually doesn't, it doesn't come true anymore but if I were to put all my um, uh, my my crystal ball uh, I would say uh, in 2022 um, there's going to be an explosion of travel from people that have they, they, they've been stuck at home uh, for the last, whatever, 15, 18 months, and they just want to go someplace that they've never been. Um, and it's been, it's been great during the pandemic. They were able to go to the national parks and some of those places. But now they want to get out and they want to explore again. Because 
basic people are explorers. Okay. I mean, you go back to the, you know, back to the, 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 the 15th, 16th century when people are exploring and finding the new world. People want to go out and explore the environment. They want to try new things. They want to see where they haven't been before and they will do it. And they 20, I'm already seeing it. 2022 bookings are, are, are really starting to, to ramp up, um, especially within our, within our company. Um, and there's going to be blips and there's going to be little hesitations here and there. But um, I see the, the second and third quarters of next year as really being ex an explosion in this industry. Um, a lot of activity uh, in Atla Alaska. Um, that's, 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 a, that's a real high point. Um, and people want to get back to Europe and they want to, they want to get back to the Southeast Asia and Australia, New Zealand and that type of thing. So I think it's going to be a big explosion in 2022. Absolutely. And, and I definitely hope uh, that is the case as well. Absolutely. Folks, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back with the travel extraordinaire, Ed Sasanto. <laughs> 